you to believe in the power of agreement, in the power of prayer. I want you to believe that God is able. Amen. Can I share with you a, a powerful testimony? Can I share with you something that that my wife and I we we are talking about? We got a a a, a phone call from a a, a a brother in Christ testifying something that I totally forgot about it. But this is the power of prayer. This is the power of God going beyond, God fulfilling His promise, okay? I got a, a phone call from a, a, a young man <clears throat> that I prophesied over his life, okay, about nine years ago. Nine years ago, I was ministering in the nation of Brazil, I was ministering at a youth camp. There was a youth camp that I was invited to preach. So I was preaching in this youth camp. And, uh, <clears throat> and there I met a young man. He, he was the, the guitar player of the church. And my wife, you know, uh, my wife knew him because she grew up you know, in the same church as him. And he was the guitar player of the church. And, uh, <clears throat> and my wife told me that, uh, you know, he's younger than my wife. And he said that this young man, he was her one of the first uh, uh, person that he, she taught how to play guitar. Because my wife played guitar. My wife plays, you know, keyboard you know, piano, my wife is really gifted with music. And so my wife, <coughs> she used to give, you know, guitar lessons. You know, this is, you know, a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> so this young man was her, one of her first student. She taught this young man to play guitar. And so, and then he grew up. And uh, he started playing for the church. And so I met him, okay, about nine years ago in this youth camp. And, uh, and I remember prophesying over him. Listen to this. I remember prophesying over him that God was going to use him in the area of music. That he was going to record a CD, you know, back then, you know, CD was popular. <laughs> you know, how many of you remember CDs? <laughs> Nowadays, you know, say these don't exist anymore. But I remember, you know, sharing with him uh, that God was going to use him to record some music. And so, you know, nine years passed, okay? And just last week, uh, he contacted us and said, you know what, uh, you know, Fernando, uh, do you mind if you spend some time with me? Uh because I'll be in Orlando. He'll still live in Brazil. But he said, I'll be in Orlando. And I want to interview you. Because you prophesied over my life nine years ago. Of what I'm living right now. He said, Fernando, you prophesied. I didn't even remember about this. But he said, you prophesied that God was going to use me in the area of music. I was going to record some you know, music. And that's, it. that's happening right now. Everything that you prayed over me, it's happening. And you say, I'm recording, uh, you know, some uh, instrument music. And, uh, and he's doing like a tour. He's going around the nations because he became one of the best guitar players. He is very, very gift. And he's going to different places, you know, playing his guitar and, uh, and, and God fulfilled, and, you know, the promise, God fulfilled, amen, that prayer that we prayed nine years ago. And he said, I'm living that right now. And uh, <clears throat> and so he asked me, you know, and my wife, if, if he can interview us. Because, say, you know, your wife, you know, he was telling us, you know, that, you know, my wife taught him, you know, how to play the guitar. 
You know, I prophesied over him that he was going to go to the nations and playing his guitar and he was going to record some music and everything is happening. And so he's going to be in Orlando, Florida, here where we live. And he was asking if he can see us because say, I'm living that prophecy that you prophesied over my life nine years ago. Amen. Listen, that's why I tell you people of God, write down the vision, write down your dreams, write down your prayer request. You know, I say this often, you know, people, they ask me, uh, you know, why do we pray for the same thing over and over again? Why is it, Fernando, isn't, isn't enough of just praying one time? Isn't lack of faith if you just pray multiple times for the same thing? No, it's not. Amen. You are knocking every time you pray for the same thing. You are knocking at the door. You are, you know, you are, you are standing in that place of perseverance. And you are praying until it happens. Amen. This young man didn't forget. I forgot that I prophesied over him. But he didn't forget. Amen. He was standing in that prophecy. And nine years later, I get, you know, a phone call and he's saying that prophecy that you gave me nine years ago. And when he was, when he shared with us, I remember, I, I, I remember preaching at that youth camp and praying over him. So, you know, promises, you know, prophecies come to pass. Words that you receive from God comes to pass, but write them down. Amen. Even your prayer request that you have today, write them down. And keep believing, keep praying until it happens. Amen. Because a lot of people, they pray one time. If it doesn't come to pass, okay, within 24 hours, they are already quitting. They're already giving up. Amen. They already stopped praying and they, they don't pray anymore. You have to pray until it happens. Amen. Have to pray until the breakthrough happens. <clears throat> and I was just so blessed that, you know, that young man, you know, he received his breakthrough and it's coming to pass. And he said, I'm going, I'm doing a tour around different countries. He's going to Canada. He's here in America. He's going to different places, playing his guitar and, 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 and doing everything that we prophesied over his life. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. And so I want to remind you to keep dreaming with God. Keep believing God. Amen. This morning, this is what I want to pray. This morning, I want to pray for your prayer request. I want you to think about, okay, one area in your life that you need a breakthrough. If it's in your finances, okay, if it's in your family, if it's in your health, or whatever area that you need God to come through for you, I want to have the honor to pray with you this morning. I want to have the, amen, I want to have this honor to pray with you, to be part of your breakthrough, amen. I want you to believe God, this is not a waste of time, amen. We are not doing this, okay, just because we don't have nothing else to do, okay. That's not why we're doing We are here with a purpose, we are here because we believe in the power of prayer. We believe in the power of God. And God can touch your life this day. God can do something powerful in your life this week. Do you believe that God can do something awesome in your life this week? Do you believe that God can touch your life in a powerful way? So let us pray. Let us call upon God. Amen. Let's call upon the Lord. And once again, I want to encourage you to pray with me. I want to encourage you to give to God the areas that you need a breakthrough, that you need a touch from Him. <clears throat> Praise God. So what are you going to do? You're going to this is the instruction that I'm giving you this day. Okay, this is what I feel in my spirit. I want you to think about one area that you need a breakthrough in your life. Just think about if it's your family, I want you to focus on that. Amen. You're going to pray with me this morning for that area. 
okay? If it's for your family, if it's for, uh, you know, whatever area that you need God to come through for you, I want you to think about that area and let's believe God. Let's believe God to touch you. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let us pray. Let us call upon the Lord. Let us believe God. Amen. Would you please <clears throat> bow your head if you can. Close your eyes if you're able. If you're not at work, if you're not you know, driving, don't do that. But if you can, you know, find a quiet place. Let us pray. Let us call upon Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness and your kindness. It's a great joy and it's a great honor to begin our day, to begin our morning in your holy presence. There's not a greater place. There's not a, a safer place to be. There's not, Lord God, nothing better than to start our day in your presence. What a great joy to come together to pray for one another. To lift up the name of Jesus. To pray. To believe you. Father God, I thank you so much because you're good. I thank you so much because you're kind. You're full of mercy and grace. You're awesome. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everyone to the sound of my voice. You know exactly what my brother and my sister is crying out for. You know their prayer request. You know the areas that they are believing of for a breakthrough and a miracle. And I stand with my brother and my sister this day. I stand with, with them. Lord God, we praise you. Because there's not a situation that is too hard for you. Lord God, you are able. Oh, come on, somebody. Just, just shout with me. God is able. Just get that in your spirit. Give this revelation. Give this truth in your spirit. Because some of you, some of you, you keep thinking the enemy keep telling you that it's over, that your situation is too hard, that God won't hear you, that your situation is lost. I want you to come out of agreement with us. And I want you to shout, God is able. Come on, get this truth in your spirit this morning. Father, I pray as my brother and my sister, they shout this truth that you're able. I pray that faith will arise inside of this man, this woman. And I pray, Lord God, that the lies will be broken from their lives. The lies that it's over. The lies that you are too far away. That you don't listen to them. That their situation will never change. I break the lies of the enemy by the blood of Jesus. Father God, I feel in my spirit, Lord God, breakthroughs. I feel, Lord God, chains breaking. Oh yes, chains will break. Cycles. Lord God, cycles of defeat, stubborn situations will change for the glory of God. I thank you, Lord God, I prophesy just like I prophesied in the life of that, of that young man, Lord God, nine years ago. Lord God, I spoke and I remember saying, you're going to go to the nations. You're going to record music. You're going to travel. Lord God, we spoke the word and Lord God, that came to pass. Lord God, I speak this morning. I speak, I prophesy this morning that chains are breaking. I hear in my, in my spirit, chains are breaking. Cycles of failure and defeat is breaking. 
I hear the sound of chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Cycles, patterns. Lord God, the strongholds are breaking in the name of Jesus. I declare everyone to the sound of my voice who are in need of a miracle, who are in need, Lord God, of a breakthrough, those who are in bondage, those, Father God, who are experiencing this ongoing cycle, Lord God, this chain, Lord God, this stubborn situation, I declare that a stubborn situations will change for the glory of God. I declare, Lord God, that victory is coming upon your people. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the enemy is fleeing this morning. Lord God, your word says that when the enemy comes at one way, he will flee from seven. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that those who are in chains, those who are, Lord God, in bondage, those, Father God, that the enemy is using cycles of failure and defeat, those who are living, Lord God, in the grip of the, of the evil one, they are coming out of bondage in the lies of the enemy, Lord God, is breaking. I break by the blood of Jesus the lies, the lies, the double mindedness, the confusion, the thought, the patterns of way, the patterns of thinking, Lord God, the, the wrong way of thinking. I declare in the name of Jesus victory. Those, Father God, who are praying with me this morning. That the enemy keep telling them that it's over. Their situation is over. Their situation will never change. Their families will never change. Their families will never get saved. Their marriage will never be fixed. Lord God, those are the enemy telling, those who the enemy keep telling them, Lord God, that their health is impossible to be restored. Lord God, those who are hearing the enemy saying you're always going to live in poverty. You'll never be able to live in abundance. You will never have enough. Father God, I pray right now. I declare the word of Ephesians, Lord God, that we prayed. Lord God, your word says to him who is able. Lord God, you are able. Somebody shout again. God is able. Come on. Ephesians 3, verse 20 and 21, I declare of your life, God is able. I want you to shout, God is able. I want this to get in your spirit this morning, that the God that we serve is able. We are not serving a God that is far away, a God that is too busy. We serve a God that is close, a God that hears the cry of his church. And so I declare right now the anointing to break the lies of the enemy that nothing will ever change for the good. Every one of you, listen, listen to me. I, because I'm hearing in my spirit a chains breaking. If you are one of those who the enemy has been telling you, okay, the enemy has been telling you that it's over. You keep hearing this in your head. You keep ge getting this in your spirit. It's over. Nothing good will come out of my life. <coughs> Let me pray for you right now. I want you to place your hand in your heart. You're going to be delivered from this lies right now. You're going to be delivered from this attack from the enemy. You're going to be free from this mentality, this way of thinking, this belief system that is over. Place your hand in your heart. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as a minister of the gospel, called by you to set the captives free, I pray for everyone to the sound of my voice. Everyone that the enemy is telling them that it's over, it's better to give up, 
is better to throw the towel. Nothing good will come out of their lives. Nothing good will ever happen to them. Father God, I break this lie by the blood of Jesus. I release a word of deliverance over this person. I release the blessings of heaven. <clears throat> I release the anointing that destroy the lies of the devil. Father God, your word declares in Proverbs that the power of life and death, Lord God, is in our tongue. So, Father God, I release life. I prophesy life. I speak life to this man and to this woman. I speak victory to this person that feels defeated. I speak the strength of God coming upon this person. I declare that those who are weak, those who feel weak spiritually, those who feel defeated spiritually, those are God who are under the oppression of the evil one, those, Father God, who are so beat down and discouraged, I say, back in Jesus' name, the lies of the enemy, the heaviness, the oppression, the depression, the sadness, this demonic cloud that hovers over your life, this hopelessness straight from the pit of hell. I say, back in Jesus' name, come out of this man, this woman, by the blood of Jesus. Loose them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak, I prophesy life into every area of your life. And I declare the strength of God coming upon you. I declare faith arising inside of you again. I declare that you're going to begin to dream again. I declare that you're going to begin to live again. I declare that hope is coming upon you. I declare that the lies, the oppression of the enemy is broken from your life right now. I speak life. I speak strength. I speak faith. Faith rising inside of you. Faith to believe in the God of miracles. Faith to believe that God is able. Somebody shout, my God is able. Come on, say with faith. Shout with faith. Shout in the face of the enemy. My God is able. My God is able. Come on. My God is able to raise me up. My God is able to raise me out of the ashes. My God is able to do the impossible. My God is able to, turn, to change the situation around. My God is able and he will do. My God is able. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you, Father God, because chains are breaking. I prophesy that the chains, the cycles of failure and defeat, Lord God, is broken by the blood of Jesus. The chains are breaking. Every chain, every stronghold, Every pattern of defeat, I say broken by the blood of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the great Messiah. Hallelujah, receive. Jesus, the Messiah, is coming to your rescue. Receive the deliverance of the Lord. Receive deliverance from the lies of the enemy. Receive deliverance from this heaviness, this fog, this, this, this fog that, that you are under, this demonic fog, this thing that was hindering you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I declare this thing bro broken by the blood of Jesus. Now, my brother, my sister, listen to me. 
I want you to think about one area in your life. Think about one area that you need God to come through for you. And I'm believing God that this week God will come through for you. This week, I want you to write it down. Write it down, the areas that you need God to come through for you. I'm believing God to come through for you this week. And if it doesn't happen this week, you're going to continue to believe. But I am believing that this week, great news will come in your way. This is what I'm praying for you today. That great news will come your way this week. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's believe. Let's raise. Amen. Let's raise our faith. Let's raise the bar. Let's believe God. That great breakthroughs will come this week for the glory of God. Let us pray. Think about this one area. Let me pray in agreement with you. Heavenly Father, now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this person. I pray for every one of them that they need one miracle, Lord God. They need a breakthrough in one area of their life this week. Lord God, I don't know what my brother and my sister is praying for. I don't know the areas that they need you to come through for them. I don't know the areas that they are asking for a breakthrough. But one thing I know. One thing I know is that you know the areas that they need. You know, Father God, the areas that they need a breakthrough. You know, Father God, the areas that they need you to show up. The areas, Lord God, that they need a miracle, a change in their lives. And so, Father God, right now, I stand in faith. <clears throat> I stand in faith. According, Father God, to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 19. In verse 20, your word says, Lord God, where two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Lord God, your word says, for our two or three gathered together in my name, I'm the midst of them. And so I pray right now for my brother, my sister. I pray, Father God, for this area that they are praying for. Lord God, there are people praying for a miracle this week in their marriage. Some of them, they are praying, Lord God, for the salvation of their unsaved loved ones. Lord God, their mothers and fathers pray for the salvation of their children. <clears throat> Some of them, they are praying for the restoration, Lord God, of a marriage. The restoration of a relationship. Some of them, they are praying, Lord God, for a miracle, Lord God, in the workplace. A miracle in their job. A miracle in their career and their finances. Lord God, there are those who are praying, Lord God, for a healing in their bodies. Father God, there are those who are in need, of, Lord God, of a, a deliverance. Father God, I don't know what they're praying for. But one thing I know that you are a God that is present to heal. You are present to deliver, to save. And so, Father God, I stand in faith right now. And I pray, Lord God, this day, I pray this week for a miracle to come in this person's life. I prophesy, I speak life into the situation. I speak a breakthrough in the situation. I speak, Lord God, healing for those who are in need of healing. I pray for a miracle in their job. I pray, Lord God, for every area that they need a breakthrough. I agree with them. I declare the blessings of heaven. And I pray, Father God, that you resurrect every situation, every area that they need, Lord God, resurrection power. I pray that you resurrect dead dreams, that you resurrect, Lord God, every area that is dying, every area, Lord God, that they need to be resurrected every area lord god that they need you to come through for them i bless them and i declare let your kingdom come and your will be done and every hopelessness every fear every oppression every doubt 
Lord God, the fear that is not going to work. The fear, Lord God, of the unknown. The fear, Lord God, that this situation is going to get worse. I break the power of fear. I counsel every spirit of fear. We bind with chains of fire every spirit of fear and every devil that is working side by side with the spirit of fear. We bind in the name of Jesus and I declare let faith arise inside of this heart. Let faith arise inside of my brother, my sister, for the glory of your name. Father God, I declare, I prophesy this week breakthroughs, answers, clarity, vision for the glory of your name. If you receive it, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Heavenly Father. Say thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Praise God. Praise God. Now, my brother, my sister, take a deep breath. Raise your hand to heaven. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Say, dear God. I put my trust and my hope in you. I praise your holy name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Now, my brother, my sister, open your hands like this. Let me pray this final prayer over you. Receive this final prayer in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> my brother and my sister. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother, my sister, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you to walk in victory. I bless you with faith. I declare faith, the most important thing that you need in your Christian walk, faith. The Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith in God, it's impossible to please God. And so receive faith, the faith that moves mountains, the faith that you need. To see the supernatural power of God in your life. Receive faith. I bless you. I declare faith rising inside of you for such a time as this. If you receive, say amen. Say thank you, Lord. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother, my sister. What a great joy. What a great blessing. I look forward to continue to pray with you tomorrow. Amen. What a blessing. <clears throat> people of God, if you can, share this live stream so that more people find us here online. Amen. I appreciate if you can do that. Amen. If I blessed your life, if this broadcast just blessed your life, then I would ask you that you share this is your social media. Share with those in need. Share. There are millions of people in need of help. Amen. I appreciate if you can do that. Also, subscribe to the channel and become part of our family here online. Amen. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Praise God. I look forward to continue to pray with you tomorrow. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Let me pray a final prayer also for those who support my prayer channel. If you want to support the channel, you can do, a, you know, help through Super Chat, Super Stickers, or there are links down below in the description of this video. I appreciate you for supporting our prayer channel. Let me pray over you right now. Father, I pray that you bless everyone, Father God, who supports our prayer channel. I pray that you bless abundantly. 
that you bless them. Lord God, as they continue to support, to help us to preach the gospel. Continue help, Lord God, as they continue to help us to bring hope, to stand in faith with your people. Praying for the body of Christ, helping people around the globe online. I pray that you bless them, that you open the doors, and that you perform miracles in their lives. Bless their seed, bless every area concerning their lives. I pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, I love you. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support, for your help. I, con I look forward to continue to pray with you tomorrow. Amen. Have a blessed day. Keep your eyes on Jesus, and I'll see you tomorrow. Shalom. Peace. <clears throat>